This is a review of the first Casio data bank watch, CD401. This one. Uh, so this is the very first uh, watch uh, in a very successful Casio uh, data bank uh, line. So Casio produced the very first uh, Casio data bank watch in 1984. Uh, and they also made this exact watch in 1985. Uh, and after that, they slightly, they changed them slight, slightly. They, they went through uh, several different uh, designs, uh, but basically they still make data bank watches until today. So if you go to Amazon, you can still buy uh, Casio data bank uh, watch uh, today. Uh, so it's very uh, successful line. Uh, well, what you can buy today looks nothing like this. So I think this this was the coolest data bank that they made. Uh, but uh, the, the line uh, turned out to be very successful for them. That's why it's uh, historically important. This this watch is very historically important uh, because this was very first uh, data bank. So the big feature, the big innovation, uh, specifically in this watch, was that uh, you were able to store uh, memory on on this watch. So specifically, you. Were are able to store uh, 10 uh, telephone numbers or notes this, this could be like any note uh, on your watch and your watch will remember uh, those uh, 10 notes uh, until until the battery uh, until the battery is good so you can come back like revisit the, those notes change them or like do do do, do whatever, whatever you want uh, and after they started increasing uh, like from 10 it went up 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 until that 300 and, and, and so on but for some reason now if you buy data bank today that will will, will have only 25 uh, telephones so uh, so so that the, the, the modern one is actually uh, yeah it, it has less than they used to make but but the very first one had had only 10 uh, so uh, this watch has uh, a raisin, black raisin brother, it's CD40, uh, but I think this uh, silver uh, s silver watch is actually, uh, so s silver one is CD401, uh, I think this one uh, looks better than, than CD40, so, so that's why I went with uh, CD401 the specific watch so i actually owned a uh, casio data bank uh, watch before so sometimes in 1990s i actually bought myself uh, a different one uh, uh, you, you you will see it uh, in, in 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 the picture uh, so i i bought myself dbc 150 so that one was uh, already able to store 150 uh, telephone numbers uh, and uh, like I wasn't really like watch person, but I loved that watch. So I was actually wearing my uh, DBC 150 uh, as my only watch for 10 years. So that watch was, uh, yeah, I, I, I love that watch. Uh, so it was my only watch I was wearing it non non nonstop. So after that, unfortunately, that, that watch uh, got lost. Uh, the only thing remaining is, uh, is, is this picture. Uh, so about a year ago, I bought uh, this one. So I thought, okay, I, I, I can rebuy what, what I had, but let me just go with the coolest data bank that Casio made. And I'm convinced that this is, this is, this is the one. Uh, so uh, about a year ago, I bought this watch and I, uh, so now I owned it for about a year. So I think I feel like I can make, uh, I can make a good, uh, good review. Uh, so uh, let's start with good things, uh, right? So the, 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 the great thing about this watch and very important thing about this watch is that it's kind of like a, a Rolex Submariner. It goes with any outfit. Uh, you can wear like t-shirt uh, and, and, and jeans. Uh, you can wear, uh, you, you can be dressed more formally or like well, whatever you wear, this watch will go just perfect with it. The only thing you should keep in mind that you should uh, like, uh, if you wear this watch, you want to show that you are um, you are a geek, right? You are a nerd, <laughs> or like you are a smart person, right? So, um, so if you're that person, this this watch uh, will work uh, for you perfectly. So, for example, I'm software developer. Uh, this matches my uh, my job and uh, who, who I am just just, just perfectly. Uh, or you can dress more formally, uh, and this 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 will look great with your outfit. So whatever you wear, this this watch, uh, this watch will look great. It's a, such a versatile watch. Um, 
another co cool thing uh, is that uh, another cool thing about this watch is that this watch is cool <laughs> this watch will bring you joy this is such a like unusual loud piece uh it's just uh, yeah it, it, it will bring you so so so, so much joy uh, and they are not that expensive so i haven't uh, checked uh, prices recently uh, you, you can you can check check them uh, yourself using using my guide uh, but about a year ago uh, so basically if you pay 200 bucks for this watch or more then you definitely overpaid so at that time you uh, like you should have paid less uh, and 200 bucks is not that much for for a good watch especially for such a historically important and cool watch uh, like this one uh, so uh, yeah also uh, like if you look at casio watches this one uh, is definitely one of the coolest casio watches but not just casio watches this one is definitely one of top like top five or top ten of coolest digital watches ever produced. This is this is like such a such a cool watch. So you definitely should consider uh, having it and adding it uh, to your collection. Uh, you'll enjoy it. Okay, another cool thing about this watch is this bracelet. This bracelet is so cool. Look at it. just just look at it. Uh, make sure so when you uh, when you're uh, looking to buy uh, CCD for one make sure you buy uh, the original bracelet and make sure uh, like it works is in, in good condition uh, you can you can uh, so it has like normal 20 millimeter uh, lugs uh, you can put some other band but but don't N nothing really will work with uh, with this watch and and the factory bracelet is just so, so cool. So the quality of this is almost, so I have a vintage uh, Grand Seiko bracelet. The quality of this bracelet is almost like my Grand Seiko bracelet. So it's, yeah, you, you will definitely enjoy this, uh, this bracelet. And uh, it's very easy to adjust. Uh, so see, so it has this uh, standard thing. Uh, you can move it up or down, it's, uh, yeah. I, I can't I can't uh, re recommend enough uh, th this bracelet. Uh, now let's move on to bad things. So first bad thing is that Casio does not uh, make uh, stainless steel uh, watches ever. Uh, if somebody uh, tells you that his Casio uh, watch is stainless steel, that don't, don't believe him. <laughs> Uh, so this is chrome plated uh, watch uh, so bracelet is stainless steel and uh, see over here it says stainless steel back if you can see it so back is stainless steel but the whole watch is uh, chrome plated so when you're buying it make sure that uh, plating uh, didn't fail uh, anywhere it's all in good condition kind of like uh, like here so if you buy it in good condition I think uh, like you're not going to be like wearing it and uh, uh, like every day and abusing it uh, so if you wear it from time to time and you have other watches uh, but this watch then the plating will will, st will, st will stay okay but make sure you buy the good plating uh, on, on, on the day one uh, another bad thing is water resistance this watch is not water resistant at all uh, so it has 24 staggering 24 buttons so there is so many uh, uh, opportunity so much opportunity for water to, 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 to get in uh, and yeah uh, it just you should just protect uh, this watch uh, from water uh, just, just, just be careful uh, and another another bad thing so I, I owned it for about a year and I found out that I do wear it, but I don't wear it that often. I wear it like from time to time, but uh, not, 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 not that often. So I wear my other watches uh, more often. And let me show you kind of what competes uh, for the rest time with this databank. So I have my uh, vintage Grand Seiko uh, from 1968. I have my uh, it's just like few I have other watches just just few of my watches I have my uh, black bay 36 uh, so obviously these two watches they cost much more than this one but kind of I also wear them much more than this one so it's kind of a shame because it's such a such a cool watch uh, 
and uh, so yeah so now, now let's let's move to features I'm not gonna show you I'm kind of gonna run through them quickly but uh, just uh, Google Casio CD 401 manual Casio CD 401 manual and download yourself uh, a manual uh, so you know how all this how to set up all these things how all these features work uh, so basically it has uh, your basically data bank f feature number one so you can store 10 uh, telephone numbers or uh, notes uh, it has your wall time so you basically select a city so this is a Cairo but you can select a city that will show you uh, time in that city uh, and it supports daylight savings time so so this is great uh, oh by the way and it also sh shows correct calendar uh, until uh, 2100 so this watch will be good for almost uh, another I know 80 years uh, it has uh, three alarms not just one but three alarms uh, it has your normal kind of Casio uh, chronograph um, and back back to time and also it has calculator uh, right so there's so many fish light by the way is not that good uh, I mean it it kind of works but really uh, doesn't work that good uh, now and another important thing you need to know a battery so correct correct battery for this watch is uh, CR2020 they still produce you can still find them on like on Esslinger or like on Amazon uh, they are not as popular as other batteries but still like they, they are in production uh, in unlikely event that this battery would uh, would be uh, not produced anymore uh, which I don't think is, will, will ever happen uh, th there are similar batteries like for example a CR2016 uh, it's like slightly thinner uh, it, it will work with the, with this watch you can like worst case you can put like little piece of foil and uh, just to make it slightly uh, thicker but uh, other batteries will also work uh, for, for this watch but uh, because you can just buy yourself a correct battery and that's the one CR2020 okay so thank you for yeah so summarizing great watch very very cool watch uh, doesn't cost that much get it uh, if you like vintage watches uh, progress somewhere here on my face and check out my other videos about uh, vintage watches uh, you will probably like them uh, and also consider subscribing especially if you like vintage watches I'm, I'm uh, I made some some videos and I'm gonna be making many many more in the future okay thank you for watching bye